Just after midnight on New Year's Day, Ukraine launched a strike against Russian forces. Hours later, Ukraine's defence ministry posted this video on Twitter with a single word, surprise. The target was in the city of Makivka, in the Russia-occupied region of Donetsk. Russian troops were stationed inside this college building, and it took a direct hit. The building was completely destroyed. This is a satellite image of the site before the attack. This is afterwards. Now, the BBC cannot confirm the death toll, but Ukraine initially said 400 Russians died. Moscow said it was 63. Then on Tuesday, that changed. Unfortunately, the number of our fallen comrades has increased to 89. That makes this the deadliest attack that Russia has acknowledged in this war. But other Russian sources are claiming this isn't the full story. For example, the nationalist commentator Igor Gherkin has claimed the number of dead and wounded is in the many hundreds. And however many men died, we know they were conscripts. They had been uh, mobilised as part of that conscription wave back in September. So these are men who hadn't even got to the front line yet and uh, lost their lives. And one of the reasons the death toll was so high is Russian explosives. Many are questioning the decision by commanders to house so many soldiers in a single location near the front lines and near ammunition stores that apparently detonated following this Ukrainian attack. That's right. The men appear to have been housed close to ammunition. The UK's Ministry of Defence has tweeted that this incident highlights how unprofessional practices contribute to Russia's high casualty rate. And the circumstances of the attack and the death toll have provoked fury from some pro-war commentators in Russia. One said, the tragedy in Makivka is a crime, and no, Ukraine is not the perpetrator here. There's also the question of how Ukraine knew that the men were there. It is already obvious that the main reason, despite the restriction, was that the personnel within the range area of enemy firepower turned on and used mobile phones. Russia says the soldiers used their phones, which gave away their location. But this has been met with scepticism. The influential Russian journalist Semyon Pegov said this explanation is not very convincing and that it looks like an obvious attempt to shift the blame. And such an intervention is significant. He was very crit critical of the defence ministry. And when um, somebody like Simon Pegov says critical things like that, people listen. However, the location was identified. Ukraine then made the strike. They used a US weapons system known as HIMARS. This is a video tweeted by Ukraine. This launcher can fire six missiles in quick succession. And they don't often miss. They're very, very lethal. They're very, very accurate. I think if, in fact, four were fired uh, and hit an ammunition dump, that would explain the large amount of explosions and the large amount of casualties. Which is why, while the death toll in this attack is uncertain, the role of Western weapons in it is not, nor is the increasing pressure on Putin's forces.